Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Han and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And in this Minecraft video, we're going to be featuring this website right here. It's the Inner Call Mod Toolchain. So this will allow you modders to make Minecraft mods on your desktop using Visual Studio Code, which is very awesome and easy to use. So First of all, you need to acquire a few pieces of software, which is the following, but I will not be using JDK, I will not be using NDK, which is too big, I just need two of this, Python and Node.js. So just go ahead and open up Python, should be, let's exit full screen, go into python.org and you have to download. So Python version required is 3.6. In the Python website, you just go to download in your platforms and I'm gonna just go for Windows, not the other things. So I'm just gonna click on download the Python 3.9.0. It will be downloading. Other than that, you need to install Node.js, which is nodejs.org. So here's the Node.js website. You can see the version needs is version 10.15. So I'm just gonna download and see the version Windows installer. Um, so it's version 12 instead of 10. So that's okay, that's okay. You can just go to your OS of choice and just gonna download the Windows installer or MSI. And my computer is at 64 bit, so I'm gonna download that. While waiting, I can install Python. So here it is, there's Python install. You can click on install now and Continue with installation. I already installed Python, so I don't need to reinstall it. I'm gonna check it by pressing the command prompt here, or you can just go into your start and type in cmd and press enter. It should open up your Windows command prompt. Now you're gonna type in Python. If it shows like this, then it means you already have Python installed. Now to exit this mode, you can just type in exit. This thing is just to check whether you have Python installed or not. Now to check whether you have Node.js or not, you can type in Node. It will show a window like that. And you can type in dot .exit to exit Node.js. Now this means you already have Node.js installed. So this is the file of the Node.js installer. So here it is. I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it again. So yeah, click finish. Now with both features already installed, Node.js and Python, you can continue to the next step. I'm not gonna be covering C++ using Android NDK for now, or Java mod using Java Development Kit. But for now, we're all gonna install VS Code, which is the IDE. So just type in VS Code into Google. And here it is, code.fizzlestudio.com. It is free to download. Just click here. And yeah, that's all you need. So now I'm gonna open up Visual Studio Code here. Now this will be your first screen on Visual Studio Code. Now you can install support for TypeScript and all, all the stuff, but we're gonna go into the extensions. So this thing here. You can install TSLint, C++, but we don't need both of this because we're not gonna be using Java and C++ in this video. We're just gonna use TSLint, which is for TypeScript. Just type that in in the marketplace and click on install. As easy as that, we just need to wait for it. And it is now installed. Just gonna go back again. And now we're on the creating a new project. After all of that installed, you should be able to run this command. Just right click and copy that. I'm gonna open up the folder, which I should already have, but to get the folder of the project, we'll have to download this thing, the inner car modding toolchain. Click on this, the green button on the clone, download as zip. It should be downloading. Now I'm gonna create a new folder for it anywhere you want. Now that the file is downloading there, you can 
see the icon there is a WinRAR icon you can see that's WinRAR you can download here it is a trialware it's called trialware because when you open it it just wants you to buy it but it is free as far as I know otherwise there is a free version of it called 7-zip or WinZip as you can see WinRAR is free after you download the file, you can open it using WinRAR or any archiving tools you decide to use and then extract it into a folder, whichever you want. So I'm just going to extract it here. After you extracted the file, open it up and you can see there is a Python file here. Now you don't need to read me. You can delete that if you want, but I'm just going to keep it there. Back into the website here, you can scroll down and you can just here. To create a new project, you just use the script of the Python file. So I'm going to just open up the folder here, open up my command prompt and go into this folder. How can I do that? You can click on your Windows Explorer to, to reveal the path of your current folder, copy that, and then paste it here by right clicking here go to the first of the line type in cd so this will be the command you will be typing into your command prompt to move into this folder after you tap enter there's nothing happen because i'm on d and this is on c for you guys who use the c drive it will be just normal but for those who use other drive you just have to type in d and then boom we're on here and you can type in cls to clear your screen after that you're gonna go here into the website again and then copy this thing and then paste it here and this is where this command is working so you have to change this the project underscore folder into your own mod name so i'm just going to call it mod1 just tap in enter it will download the toolchain again so you will probably need a lot of data for this a lot of space and this will take a few minutes now it's finished downloading, it should be creating this window. Now you can enter your directory pack name. I'm just gonna call it um, Intercore, so that's okay. Just type in enter for the default value. Initializing mod info and enter project name, we're gonna call it tutorial1. Enter author will be hunt programmer. Project version 1.0. Description a task mod. Do you want to initialize a new native directory? I'm just gonna type in no, Java directory no. Basically, these two variables here, the no is for the C and the Java. Do you want to clean up the project? Yes. Project is successfully set up. Now this is will be the project of your mod. And then there's source, and then there's launcher, and there's native. All of this folder is for your mod, so this is the only files that is JavaScript here. And other stuff here is just toolchain for when you were working with Visual Studio Code. So now we'll open this folder using Visual Studio Code by copying the path, and then open a folder. And select this folder it should open up the folder and load every library for it and there you go it should open dev header the JS which is still empty this is the mod file now you guys can open up your header.js file, which is the main file of your mod, will be included here. So there's launcher.js as well, which is launcher. <laughs> so first thing, when you open up your header.js, you can type in this code here, is reference path equal to dot dot slash dot dot slash to chain declaration coreengine.d.js. What this will do is will add this code into your inner core uh, into your Visual Studio code, but not into your inner core project. 
So now you can do is like id registry dot gen item id like this. You can generate anything like new item. And then you can like item dot add to creative. You can see there is this ID, there's count and number. So I'm just gonna put new item like that and count one and then number that uh, zero and then it's done. And you are now typing in the TypeScript environment. Now you can. So you're supposed to be able to connect using Android the bug bridge right here, but I cannot figure out how to use it yet. So maybe in the future I can make a video about this so that you don't have to copy your files manually into your Android. And yeah, it should be making it faster. And as you can see, I got a little bit of problem here with ADB. So yeah. Anyway guys, that's all I got time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, welcome to the end card. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for this guy right here who made the awesome picture of fan art for me that I used in the thumbnail. Thank you. And I cannot say your name because it's hard to read, sorry. Thank you.